more British men are looking to other powers in their quest for a better body. Sales of protein-based supplements have shot up 180% in the last six years. Market research company Euromonitor says men are driving the demand and the industry is only going to grow. Muscles are big business, so here bare-chested models with washboard abs and rippling biceps point you towards the muscle shirts. So why the trend for bulking up and could it become a dangerous obsession? Some psychologists warn about a condition called muscle dysmorphia, a kind of reverse anorexia. Danny Baldwinson is a personal trainer and competes as a bodybuilder. He thinks men are affected by their environment. We're at a stage now where you will always see like advertising, stuff on TV, where you've got guys who are in decent shape. Um, yeah, it's all self-image and I guess in a way it's a competitive world out there between male. So I suppose everyone's trying to be the alpha male and look the best. Would you say that muscle dysmorphia or um, bigorexia as it's been dubbed is actually a real thing? Because there is a debate about that. Uh, I, I believe it's totally true to be honest with you. I, I honestly do believe you never ever see yourself for yourself in a mirror. So um, you, you, you only see what you've come from. You don't actually see what you are now. So yeah, it does exist. And again, it's chasing perfection. And unfortunately, as long as we do this, I don't think anyone will ever be happy with the end results they get. The effects of chasing the unattainable is something this man knows all about. Living in Folkestone now, Spike was a Hollywood stuntman, model and bodybuilder before it all came to a sudden end. Well, I had just uh, come back from the gym where I was training six hours a day and uh, doing coke in between sets and injecting myself with steroids non-stop. Standing over the stove, all of a sudden it felt like somebody stabbed me with a knife like that through my heart. Spike was clinically dead twice. His aorta had split from his heart to the bottom of his leg. So no more modelling on Harleys, instead learning to walk. Doctors say steroids were the main cause. And in the UK, the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence recently warned about an increasing number of people using the drug, a drug which many see as a quick way of building muscle. Spike blames vanity. And the thing was with the male ego and, and all that, you know, you look in the mirror and you always feel too small. Or you go to a bar and everybody else, then that guy next to you looks bigger, he's got bigger arms, he's got a bigger chest, bigger traps, bigger shoulders, you know, and you, and you become obsessed with looking like that. And, and the same with the steroids and the protein shakes and the vitamins, you think the more you take, the bigger you're gonna get, but it's not the case. That's James Dean, of course, with his motorbike. Professor Rosalind Gill has studied why men fixate on their appearance. She thinks male body image is an area that's been neglected. I think it's really a grey area, and I think as a society we don't know much about this at the moment, and I think there's a parallel with something like anorexia, that, um, of course, eating healthily, watching your weight, these are all kind of desirable things that most people try and do. But, of course, they're, they're, there's a line that gets crossed when it becomes really obsessional, really dangerous and actually threatening to someone's health. I think there's a real parallel there with kind of bulking up. You know, it's just the, other, the flip side of the coin. But I don't think that we as a society or as uh, psychologists know much about that process. I st still think it's relatively underexplored, particularly amongst men. De Montfort Hall in Leicester hosts the UK Bodybuilding and Fitness Federation Nationals. Sponsored by My Protein Supplements, the event has increased in popularity by 200% since last year. Jordan, in the blue, came third in the under 23 year old's class. I asked what he's had to do to be competition ready. In terms of all the supplementation, it's give and take. Like, if some people, like, you know the risk you're going to take. Same with like, 
Saying somebody wants to be a CEO, they're going to have to take a lot of sacrifices. I mean, I've made a lot of sacrifices, I've lost a lot of friends over this. But I've been so grateful, my girlfriend stuck by me, she's helped me out a lot. I think, I've, I think this is totally worth it. I, I'm not too fussed with the risks. There's always negatives with positives. Relax, side chest. And face the rear. Now the NHS says strength training is an important part of a healthy lifestyle. Vice President of the UK BFF agrees. He believes bodybuilding is vital. His career started after he was inspired by muscle-bound action heroes. You watch the Hercules movie, the old black and white movie, and you see the, the physique and those guys. And he says, hmm, I want a physique like that. Now, the reason why I look at it, I can't deal with men with big stomachs. To me, when a woman is pregnant, she has a big stomach and then she back to normal. Why does a man want to carry around a big stomach? What, what purpose does it serve? It's not just men who are pushing for more muscular physiques. Sugar said the number of female participants trebled in the last year. Even the next generation is starting to feel the pressure as young men strive for the physiques of their cartoon heroes, film stars, and even fathers, is the impact on their health, minds, and relationships worth the cost? Thomas, coming up to the front there, Thomas. Come on with Dad. Yeah. Now give him a big round of applause.